Welcome to September. Here's your psychic tarot reading for the month. This month, this is what we will go over. We will cover your current self, the month's theme, you at the beginning, middle, and end of the month, the key goal to achieve, how to do it, obstacles to overcome, how to do it, good news, what to avoid, your spirituality modality of focus this month to help you get through it. And then I wanted to let you know that um, when I polled people on Instagram and on Facebook, they all said what they really wanted to focus on this month was money and career. So I will be putting that in a separate set of videos for you this month um, to this YouTube channel and hit the little bell notification so that when those come out, you are immediately aware and alerted in case you like these. I would also appreciate it if you would share these videos with people that you think would find helpful um, because otherwise, how are they gonna find them, right? And here's something new that we're doing this month. If you are to go ahead and share this video on Facebook or Instagram, please go ahead and tag me because this month I'm giving away a zodiac sign necklace, which obviously it would be the one. If you're a Pisces, that'd be the one that you want to share, right? In this picture, this is an example of the different Pisces necklaces that would be going out, but I have them for every single sign. Um, those would be shipped out halfway through the month, so make sure that you tag me in it. Um, because if you don't, I can't see the post, and then I can't DM you for your shipping address. So I'll be giving away one for each one of these signs. Uh, let's get started. Hey Capricorn, welcome to September. So, current self. Things are totally balanced, and they're only going to get better from here. So good. This month's theme for you is um, not about like mindfulness and being in the present moment. It's more about cause and effect, which doesn't seem that different, right? But it is because what they're saying is like basically every moment is a choice. Um, so you're aware that the love you create in your thoughts is an agent of change and the foundation of your results. So it's less about observing what's around us right now in the present, but more choosing how we're going to feel about certain things. We can always choose to give somebody the benefit of the doubt, for example, okay? Um, we don't get to choose what happens to us, but we get to choose our reaction to it. So at the beginning of the month, this is all about new opportunities um, as far as purchases go, work opportunities, things like that. In the beginning, or I'm sorry, in the middle of the month, we might start to feel a little bit emotionally imbalanced here. Now, why would that be? Um, they're saying because things are okay, but they're not necessarily totally amazing, and now we're craving that next level. And we might be getting down on ourselves a little bit, especially if you have Virgo in your chart, because Virgo's at their best super organized, perfectionist, um, but they're also their harshest critic, right, because they're perfectionists. And so, um, you know, fellow earth sign there, but also if you have Virgo in your chart, this would especially be true. Now, at the end of the month, um, but it'll affect you either way, just because we're in Virgo season, okay? Um, at the end of the month, your intuition might be a little bit off. Things might not be super clear. There's things that you can see, but certain things that you can't see. And they're saying that, um, you know, it, using this Virgo energy after the new moon in the beginning of the month and um, being in this season is going to help you to get things like totally balanced and on track, especially financially and in the workplace. But we want to make sure that we are taking care of ourselves, doing enough self-care at the end of the month. That might be something that we start to neglect. And so um, keeping that in mind as something that we want to make sure that we're doing because we might take then for granted all of the blessings that we have and not be able to sustain them moving forward. So the key goal to achieve for you this month is um, to be okay with the fact that maybe your gut instincts aren't spot on. So how are you going to be okay with that? Um, they're saying by infusing love into every situation, you know, saying, okay, well, maybe I was wrong here. Or um, maybe I don't know and that's okay because surprises can be beautiful on occasion. I know that's hard to imagine in adulthood, right? But what they're saying is, um, using this fact of like, I don't know everything, I don't have a hunch, 
and trying new things, being open to adventure, having a little bit of fun in a new and different way um, is a good way to feel okay with that. So obstacles that you'll want to overcome is kind of that same old. This month is, some, is a month where you're going to want to um, be a little bit more spontaneous. So how do you get out of that rut and do it? And they're like saying, hey, um, understanding that like nothing bad ever happens. Things might feel bad, right? But something good always comes out of it. There's always a lesson there. Um, in certain extreme circumstances, that's hard to believe. But at the end of the day, it's always the case. And so they're saying like, let try really hard not to see anything that doesn't necessarily go the way that you would plan for it to go as a blessing um, because a new opportunity could arise from it and you're safe, you're okay. Everything's gonna be fine. Um, good news for the month. They're saying, um, well, if you tend to kind of slip into a depression, it's easily fixed by doing more self-care. That's the only thing. It's like you have to take um, time to yourself to do things that feel good for you, whether that's buying yourself something new, taking an extra long bath, you know, calling in sick to work to have a mental health day, whatever it is that you want, um, making sure that you make time for that. So what should you be avoiding this month? And they're saying um, not lovers, that's for sure. <laughs> um, when opportunity to take maybe a new lover on um, comes about, that's something you want to take advantage of, even if it's short term, because you can learn something from that. You don't have to be stuck in that. It um, Even if it is temporary, like don't get hamstrung in the details. Like don't feel like you need to control the direction of that because there's going to be something positive there. Um, what else should you be avoiding? And they're saying, um, you know, ju it's just coming back to that whole thing of like, you need to do something good for yourself this month. You really, really do. Because otherwise, it's very easy to slip into a sort of negative downward spiral that makes you feel kind of bad. Um, so your spirituality modality of focus to help you achieve all the things that are positive this month is palmistry, which Scorpio has also had. So if you don't know how to read your own palms, maybe you could read a book on it, watch some YouTube videos on it, go get your palms read by a local palm reader, something like that. But um, that would be your modality of focus. So I'll talk to you in October, and I love you so much. Thanks for getting all the way to the end of this video with me. Click here to sign up to win a free 20 minute video reading. Click here if you want to see the career and money video. And click here to subscribe.